another expert from the pharma field, another scientist who probably has been playing with the chemistry box also when he was very young, because he's specializing in bioprocesses. And he says the base of any bioprocess is a cell. Now, in order for it to grow and eventually work, it is our next, uh, he, he's saying that make the cell feel comfortable. How does he do that? That this cell feels comfortable that it can grow? Let's find it out. He will tell us. Martin Joksch, my colleague, the senior scientist from Siemens Pharma. Come up on stage. So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. In the last presentations, you heard a lot about Siemens activities together with the pharma industry. I will give you now a presentation about a particular application of Siemens tools within the pharma industry. I came from the process test lab in Vienna, where we in investigate pharma processes. Our scientists collaborate with pharma companies like Beringer, Merck, Sanofi, and Sando, and so on, to explore their current processes in matter to, to improve these processes. But we are also try to find new production concepts for new challenges in the medical treatment, like personalized medicine and cell therapy, for example. And within our lab, we try to find out what is the best way to use Siemens products to gain the most benefit for our customers. And in this, it's clear there are also sensors and process analyzers in our focus. For bioprocesses, the pharmaceutical industry uses uh, microorganisms or animal cells, which are able to create uh, needed uh, proteins or enzymes. In the slide, you can see the schematic representation of such uh, biotechnological process. The cells are live within a fermenter, and it, it is very important that the cells have a comfortable environment that they feel well, because if they have stress, they will not be able to produce the required products in a well way. What do we do that they have this well environment? We measure, the, we measure and control the temperature, the pH, the oxygen supply. But in general, we have only very few information about the cell activities and how they feel. To overcome this, we use different process analyzers. For example, we can take off-gas measurements, so we get the information how much oxygen is used by the microorganisms and how much carbon dioxide they are emitted. This gives us two information. One about the metabolic activities of the cells and the other is which metabolic pathway the cells uses. Because if they don't feel well, they will use other pathways and this will maybe disturb the production process. And the more we know about the cell activities, the better we can control the processes. Thus, we take the best Siemens gas analyzer, the C process GA700, and combine it with a new measurement method, the physical differential measurement. That means we directly compare the content of oxygen and carbon dioxide with, between the in-gas and the, the off-gas. And this gives us the possibility to recognize also very small 
uh, metabolic activities in the cells. And with this new tool, we are able to, to measure the cell behavior even in difficult processes with low activities, for example, processes with animal cells where with a very low cell density. The system we use consists of the Siemens Oximart 7, a very precise oxygen analyzer with a short response time, and the Ultramart 7, which is maybe the best carbon dioxide analyzer on the market. And for other questions, there could be also other modules for the gas analyzers, for example, the Calumat 7. Within our test lab in Vienna, we tested this system with different cultures and under different uh, fermentation conditions. And we found out we was able to reduce the amount of needed feed up to 30% with a process control, in particular a feed control using this off-gas analyzing. In, in this case, the cell will be in, in an optimal state and this will also reduce the fermentation time. For the pharma industry, this brings, on one hand, a cost reduction, on the other hand, also more stable processes, and it's very expensive. For example, if you lose one whole uh, production run. On the other hand, the, the cells are here in an optimal stage. This also avoids an overmetabolism, avoids a cell stress, and the product quality therefore increases. For example, the folding of the proteins will be perfect and the pharmaceutical activity of the drugs will be at the best. This means also for us, for all of us, this brings uh, better drugs with a higher security, which avoids uh, adverse effects of the drugs. If you want more information, please visit me at the PharmaCube. There I can explain you scientific backgrounds and technical details for this new approach of process control. Thanks for your attention. Do you have